Hello, 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 hello. Phew. I think there was a lot of hellos, but y'all deserve them. Y'all deserve them. Anyways, I stopped by tonight. I was supposed to do this video like hours ago, but um, just got caught up doing other things inside the house. Little things, nothing, nothing major. Still can't lift heavy stuff, so there's nothing major that I was doing, but I did a little something, something. So how y'all doing tonight or today? You know, we all got our different time zones and I have my favorite people from all over the place and I appreciate you guys. I love you guys, and, but y'all know that already. So sitting here um, eating me some noodles, <laughs> noodles. <laughs> um, lately, no big appetite. Um, didn't feel like cooking. Didn't feel like eating nothing big. Well, I can't eat big anyways, but I have to put something on my stomach for my medicine. So I got some crackers. And I don't know about y'all, the people that eat noodles, but I, I like a lot of water in mine so I can have a lot of liquid. So I mostly do it for the liquid. So Dollar Tree. Microwave, it's on and popping. It's always a way to feed your face. Trust me when I tell you that. You can never go hungry with some noodles. <laughs> but anyway, the last video I made that I shouted out our girl Asha. Um, that was for my girl and for our girl. And I told y'all then, if y'all watched it all the way through, that I would be coming back with some good news. And drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. I did perfect on my last procedure that I had the other day. You all know that I went to have that bronchoscopy and they snuck in another biops on me um, as well. Cause you know I had to do these back to back. I had just did one less than a month ago, you know. So um, um, they called me, and um, I wasn't expect. Oh, <laughs> uh, by the way, we'll get back to this in a minute. <laughs> to the situation about this nightgown. It's a story behind this nightgown, but I'll tell y'all soon. Um, <laughs> what was I gonna say? Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> I got the phone call from my coordinator, and I wasn't expecting uh, the, the results that fast because normally I'll get them like when I go back to the doctor the following week after a bronchoscopy. But my um, coordinator, social worker, she called me and told me the good news from the doctors and um, that no rejection, the rejection is clear. Um, you know, the last time I was in the hospital, I went back in for rejection. And then when I got out, they had already told me it was clear, but I had to go back again for another uh, procedure, which was last week, if you guys remember. And that one was also clear because, you know, the rejection had started to come back on me quite frequent. And so uh, it was clear, the f no fluid on the lungs. My breathing is better. I, the pulmonary function test was better. I think I mentioned it already on the other video, but I just didn't get too deep into it. They are very proud of me. Um, still taking it not slow like a turtle, but a little faster than that, but not like a rabbit. So, you know, <laughs> not that fast, but not slow as a turtle. So I'm kind of in between, about midway on my movements and I do if I catch myself moving too fast I have to stop and slow down and I don't mean like a running speed but even when I exercise I can catch myself doing too much and I have to slow down uh, I've been checking my O2 levels with the little thing on my finger um, it's been great. and also uh, I'm still exercising every day in home you all saw the video when the uh, my uh, physical therapist came out I have been discharged from physical therapy because I aced it. You guys know I did that in the hospital uh, 
every day that they let me go. And um, once I came home, um, they wanted to do in-home. And it's a gym here um, or whatever, and I could go in there as well. But um, I do enjoy doing my floor exercises because you guys all, um, all you saw was the ones that we stood up and did. But I have floor exercises as well, or I could do them in the bed. And they're, they're all safe. If I feel myself getting tired, I can stop. But you guys got all the good news firsthand from me. You guys heard it first. YouTube heard it first. Now, it's going to be some more good news coming behind this. I have a couple of more appointments coming up. So we're going to save that until after those appointments come up. Because I don't like to spoil stuff. And being a post-transplant patient, you think that something's going to happen and then they can always change your mind or something can come up. So I don't want to get any hopes up, but guess what? I'm going to stay positive, though. And sooner or later, we're going to have more good news. Please, please stay tuned for that. And what's for dinner tonight, guys? You already know what's for dinner on my end. Okay, let's get to the point about this gown. This gown is a, probably a 2X. So it was packed in my bag before transplant. So this thing is so huge. And I, I just wanted to put it on just to see my accomplishment. <laughs> well, like I said in another video, all of this weight wasn't done on purpose. You guys know how sick I was in the hospital. But I did lose weight before my surgery. But I didn't know I was going to lose this much weight after the surgery. So let's take a peek at this huge gown and I have had this for almost 10 to 15 years. This is no joke, JC Penney's. And I've had this forever. So this is, I, I was once a 2X before uh, a long time ago. And I used to be on prednisone a long time ago for other reasons. So uh, let's show you guys this big 2X. Look at that. I ain't finna throw this thing away. Uh-uh. Look at that. I could tie this thing up. Look at that. Tied up, tied up. Now we looking at a medium. Yeah. But, yeah, medium. Tied up in a knot. And keep it moving. Who care? Or should I just give it to somebody that can fit this nice 2X? Maybe so. <laughs> It is so cute, and look how long this thing lasted, because I barely slept in it, but anyways. So that's why everything was trying to pop out, but um, y'all act like y'all ain't see that. <laughs> uh, okay, guys, I'm going to finish eating my noodles, because I don't want to be rude, and you know with the noodles, you got to try to suck them all up. Yeah, I like eating with spoons, especially when it comes down to my liquid. And I have a nice cup of lemon water. You guys put lemon in your water? Not just at the restaurant. Do it at home, too. It cuts the fat, grease, all that type of stuff. So let's lemon water. Or we can do lime water. You can do waters with berries in it. Blueberries, blackberries, strawberries. Water with cucumbers in it. It is so refreshing. Try it, guys. Not just in the summer. Winter, spring, summer, or fall. And I hope you all enjoyed my video. And I hope you all enjoyed this Beautiful smile. <laughs> I just love you guys. I love you guys. And stay tuned for some more good news one day next week. And thank you for stopping by my channel. And if this is your first time tuning in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you like. And if you don't, thank you anyways for stopping by. And to all my regular followers thank you all as well like and share like and share team shaw has won toodles and noodles <laughs> it rhymed